Hello friends, welcome to Only IS. In today's video, we will be discussing a very important component from Indian Express explained section that is regarding climate change. And why are we discussing about climate change? Because IPCC, that is Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, has brought its new assessment report under which it has discussed some of the findings, especially about that what are the things that we need to do in order to ensure that the target which has been set for 1.5 degree celsius that needs to be uh, as compared to the pre-industrial level if we have to manage within those limits what are the things that we actually need to do and you can relate this particular topic from your gs3 perspective regarding conservation environment pollution and degradation so we'll discuss from pre-mains and interview perspective this particular video will cover all of that right so let's start the topic before actually discussing what are the findings of ipcc i want to discuss something regarding unf triple c that is united nation framework convention on climate change now in your environment course you must have read about the earth summit the one which took place in 1992 in rio de janeiro that is brazil in this particular summit many important things were discussed and the three things that were adopted were UNFCCC, CBD, as well as Agenda 21, right? All three of them were very important. Considering about UNFCCC, it focuses on reducing the carbon emissions. You are very well aware that the world at that time, especially the post-industrial revolution, did a lot of carbon emissions all across the world. So, in order to manage our environment, there was focus on reducing the carbon emissions under UNFCCC and it was decided that they will be meeting every year. Annual meeting was to be proposed and that was called as COP that is Conference of Parties. Now there are many important COPs such as Kyoto, right? In a similar manner, there was an important another agreement that was Paris Climate Change Agreement 2015. Now under this Paris Climate Change Agreement, it was decided that the globally the temperature rise will be contained below 2 degrees celsius rise as compared to pre-industrial level so 2 degree was the limit that was fixed at the same time they set up an aspirational goal which was regarding restricting the rise to 1.5 degrees celsius now you are aware what is UNFCCC and what is this 1.5 degree right next we need to discuss about ipcc the organization which has actually brought its assessment report so what is ipcc it is intergovernmental panel on climate change there are two bodies which help which help in uh, setting up of ipcc which were they they were wmo and unep wmo is world meteorological organization and unep is un environmental program so these two came together and led to the formation of IPCC Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. And it is a very important body for ensuring that uh, the research regarding climate change is well brought before the governments. For example, there are many countries which believe that climate change is actually a myth and it is not a reality. Now, IPCC will do what? It will propose, it will basically give reports to these countries and tell them that I, uh, climate change is not a myth, it is actually happening and we need to take proper steps to ensure that uh, climate change is contained within its limit, right? So these were some of the things regarding IPCC and UNFCCC. Now let's get into the, what are the findings and how, what are the feasible solution that has been proposed by IPCC. So IPCC has focused on large scale deployment of renewables like solar or wind energy. You are very well aware that India has been focusing a lot on solar energy, be it the national solar mission, be it uh, one nation, uh, one sun, one world, one grid, and different other initiatives such as uh, international solar alliance, etc. So many initiatives are going on in the solar direction. So the world also needs to focus on that. At the same time, the focus is on large scale deployment. Why large scale deployment? Actually what happens is, the concept behind this is economies of scale. I hope you in your in uh, economy lecture you must have read about economies of scale if not i'll tell you in brief so what happens let's say assume a one unit let's say one unit of solar maybe so one unit of solar maybe for rupees 500 right now when we are producing let's say 100 units do you still think that we will be needing 500 for producing one unit no it will be less than that 
what actually happens is as the quantity you produce increases the price per unit generally decreases this is known as economies of scale so it is proposing that we need to ensure large scale deployment so that the cost associated with be it solar be it wind comes down drastically at the same time the focus is on carbon sequestration and soil that is regarding carbon capture and storage so these techniques needs to be adopted in order to reduce the carbon emission other things such as reduction in deforestation at the same time energy efficiency improvement and ensuring there is a lifestyle change by adopting to electric vehicles right it is said that electric vehicles are the future of tomorrow right they will be the vehicles of tomorrow in in the coming days so some lifestyle changes such as adoption of bicycles electric vehicles use of public transports need to be proposed within the uh, from the government towards the citizen so basically it is focusing on a stakeholder a holistic stakeholder approach wherein government will also be involved uh, people will also be involved as well as some civil society organizations will also be involved so a holistic plan has been proposed under this particular uh, options at the same time some other options such as uh, it has also noticed that there has been a reduction in cost over the years for example solar energy lithium ion batteries the cost of producing them has come down drastically by nearly 85% at the same time wind energy cost has also come down however the ipcc still mentioned that there is a further need for affordability and feasibility important because it is needed so that ensuring that even poor people can afford such kind of uh, new mediums as well as feasibility so as to ensure that whatever the restrictions or whatever uh, the behavior change needs to be done among the people those barriers need to be lifted and the barriers of feasibility be reduced and accordingly conditions need to be enabled for deploying the mitigation options at large at the same time you can see some of the renewable energy sources in this diagram as well lastly it is calling for some energy alternatives and the traditional sources be it oil be it gas coal all these have to be abandoned over the certain time and one thing it importantly also says that we have to act now by now it does not mean 5 year later or 10 year later now means right now right it has very specifically mentioned it ki if we keep on delaying our targets for the coming years if we keep on saying that in future we will do these things the future may never come we need to do now right at the same time dependence of fossil fuel needs to be reduced and sustain global efforts are the need of the hour and the countries must share the best practices with other countries so as to ensure that the of uh, each country learns from the experience of others and the collective well being of the entire planet is ensured at the same time right before we end the session i want to give you a question for mains answer writing practice right so you can just check this question this is from upsc 2020 what is asked in this question describe the benefits of deriving electric energy from sunlight in contrast to conventional energy generation what are the initiatives offered by our government for this purpose so based on your knowledge from your static components of environment plus whatever information we have discussed and whatever the initiatives you are know of uh, which have been proposed by the government including all these things you can definitely answer this particular question in depth right so friends i hope you found this video useful uh, keep working hard keep practicing more and more goodbye and good luck